Hey guys, what's going on? Oof, been a little while since I've done a video, much less been on a bike. Well, I've been on a bike. Not a lot, but here and there. Anyway, figured uh I just got in from work. The sun's about to set and probably like now. <laughs> I figured let me take the bike out for a little quick little quick ride and do a little quick vlog. Shit my mic. Frick. I had to even remember where the damn where the damn mic was. Anyway, uh so I figured let me get out a little quick ride, a little quick vlog. Yeah, you know I haven't filmed in a long while. Um, this is probably a little bit of a dark vlog. We are in 1080, 60p, uh, super view. So I don't know if things look awkward or I don't know. I don't know. I'm going with the best I can. Yeah, so November 5th, we're looking at about 55 degrees out right now. Heated grips are on, confirmed. And uh, I figured out come out take you guys for a little ride the V star is still doing good V star is still doing good I actually put the new tires on it front and rears I got Metzler Metzler cruise techs that I got in front and I got in the rear I believe the rear is a, a the frig is a rear 180 70 or something like that and the front is a stock actually uh got a recommendation on those from harley day rider he was saying that he had put them on his bike and he was pretty happy with them so i figured yeah you know what let me give them a try and i was able to the rear is a little oversized just a tad um same width but a little more height so my speedo is actually probably uh, somewhat cal 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 calibrated at this point in time. Anyway, I haven't been around for a little bit. I um, kind of had a lot of negative things happening, a lot of bad things happening. My brother, younger brother, youngest brother, had a bad accident on a motorcycle, so that kind of um, really took me out of the loop. I was actually supposed to do Laconia last year before he had that issue. Um, and uh, I don't know man it's like I just just didn't go <laughs> you know I had that week slated I didn't plan anything I just I just uh, just didn't go man you know I know sometimes you know things happen but I don't know maybe I just kind of had a little feeling of a way of kind of feeling out of wanting to ride kind of lost the maybe I lost the bug I'm not sure but um, yeah I ended up not doing that I ended up really not even riding much even into this year as a matter of fact this is the first vlog I filmed of, as of this year I did try before once before to get out and film a vlog and that didn't pan out too well um, battery was like dead like right now I try to start one of the other battery the other battery and it, that one didn't work but this one did thankfully so um ended up getting vlogging with this but um you know i've been uh i've been trying to like get my mojo back my brother's healed up very well um he remembers absolutely nothing about the hospital about the accident you know it was, it, was, it was pretty bad he was in um he was in icu for like two weeks he was uh, two or three weeks was it three weeks something like that yeah he was in there for three weeks he was um then from there he had to go to another hospital where they just focus on your rehab his shoulder was kind of messed up but you know he made a full recovery you know thank god man he made a full recovery grace is a god he's got other plans for you in his life and um he's been doing great he's actually repaired the bike and you know he goes out and not riding as much or to the extent that he was before but you know he's still 
does wander out on a bike, you know, which is, which is, you know, amazing and great all in one same time. Um, and yeah, you know, that kind of affected me a bit in a way. And I actually, um, I actually wasn't riding much, you know, I, I really fought with just wanting to, just w wanting to think about taking the bike out you know that was like a that was like a real serious chore for me to even consider that like I, I don't know man it was tough you know um somebody was four wheeling over here uh -huh. you better have that set up and uh yeah so this year i um i took off that week for laconia I'm really considering that i've been Man, you know what I tell you? I've been looking at, I've been looking at second, like other bikes, a second bike. I don't, I really don't think I could give up my V-Star. I don't know if that's, I feel like that'll be a mistake. You know, I got the ECU flash. I kind of got it set up how I want. I got the suspension feeling good. The progressive rear, the progressive fronts, the new fork oil and everything and the reckless fairing. I had to put a new radio in there. Cause my other radio got damaged with the all the riding in the rain and out in West Virginia and all that stuff. Now, yeah, that radio got corroded, so I got it and I put this little stupid cover on there that doesn't want to close. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, yeah, I did all of that jazz, and um, I don't know, man. I just I got it kind of set up how I want, and you know, I was kind of thinking, you know, it'd be nice to maybe want to get something that uh that has that's a little lighter in weight you know maybe a little lighter in weight um and then also too on top of that i'd still you know i always want to have my storage at least one bag or something love to look at a lighter bike but then i find myself looking at bikes like FJR 1300s and uh, Kawi Concourses, but that's a little too heavy, too big, too big. Already got a big bike. Then uh, I'm looking at a Goldwing F6B. Already got a big bike, but man, that F6B is nice. That is a real nice bike. That, yep, I could see riding straight clear across on over to the Cali side easily, in my opinion. Let these cars go by. But yeah, you know kind of something I've been uh, I've been checking out and pondering um, I don't know if I'm just nuts going nuts or what but you know I kind of think it would be cool um, I don't know I haven't I, I, I gave it I gave it a good amount of thought I would say but I haven't uh, gone as far as to say oh yeah I'll pull the trigger on this or I'll pull the trigger on that but um yeah this thing I wish it would stay close but yeah you know it's it's, it's something I've, I've, I've thought about or something I've considered but yeah you know I hope you guys have been well um, I can't say I've been watching vlogs because I haven't I've been uh, studying uh, a lot of uh, stock trading and things like that and strategy and kind of ventured off into other things. I haven't really been watching vlogs or watching anyone that really does vlogs, uh, you know, that I could say. Um, one thing I would love to do is another motorcycle trip somewhere. You know, uh, I kind of didn't really want to do a bike week but in a way now that I you know when I was thinking about it I was like man you know I've never been to Laconia bike week I thought that would be pretty cool whether or not I'd want to camp I don't know uh, I don't know you know it's it's you know going a little more northeast you're talking about June chilly nights so mm, I don't know that's something that uh 
that's something that I'll have to uh, look into, have to think about. You know, do you want to camp? Do you want to, you know, what do you want to do? Oh, frick, I almost forgot. I got a wedding to go to in June also. Oh, all right. Yep, got to figure that out too. But yeah, a lot of stuff. Anyway, um, happy to take you guys along for the ride. Uh, fortunately, the sun is setting. So we, uh, it won't be a long ride and I'm taking you kind of in the direction of where the sun will shine <laughs> if that makes sense and uh, I figure I'll take you guys along with me uh, we're gonna head on down here to the gas station and we'll cut it off or I could take you actually I could take you down to the to the apple tree area over there I could take you over there yeah and then shut it off over there bring you guys on a nice little long ride because I don't I'm not sure when's the next time I'll get to film again I don't know oh I can tell you about the Metza cruise techs right they, they they feel pretty good I've you know something with this bike I've never changed both tires at the same time I don't know if you guys have ever done that have you changed both tires at the same time I know there's some people that I know do that I know Freedom Rider he does that I, I believe Jack does that holiday rider um, not too sure about many other people but I'm pretty sure they do um, I'm pretty sure Bodine probably does he changes four, probably four tires at the same time he's got two bikes three bikes jeez Louise that guy's got three bikes but um yeah changing I never changed both at the same time usually it's always the rear that wears out oh, hands are chilly the, the rear wears out a little quicker than the front so, um, I'll end up, I'll end up changing that and the front will still be good. So I'll usually try to stay within the same brand most times. You know, I've tried Shinko's. That was kind of where I, where I, one time that I mixed brands, but usually it was the Michelin, the Commander <coughs> twos that I had a three in the front and a two and it, you know, it felt all right, you know. It wasn't bad, but um, I've, I've never per se did both at the same time. This is the first time. So actually when I took the bike out, you know, you know, for that first hundred miles, kind of had to be like really easy with it. And that was just an awkward feeling. And mind you, I wasn't riding all year, right? So I haven't been riding all year, but then here I am on this freaking 700 pound Yamaha with two new tires on it and I'm nervous I was like holy crap this is not good like why did I choose to set myself up this way <laughs> I was like riding everywhere and you would think that I was like uh, riding a tricycle the way that I'm trying to steer the damn thing I think I gotta make a left over here Turn that indicator on. Yeah, I'm making a left here. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you would think I was riding a, a indicator. Uh, uh, not an indicator. A tricycle. You know, the way that I'm trying to steer the damn thing. While I'm riding. But anyway, yeah, you know, it ended up working out okay. Ended up uh, just kind of just kind of taking my time you know I just took my time and and went along and worked out okay let's get this thing in neutral yeah it worked out okay I haven't even changed the oil yet I'm still on the same I'm still on the same same oil I did like what 200 miles maybe I think yeah I got like I got 211 here I, I think that's all I did I don't even know you know, I, I haven't been out on it much, much at all. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to head back home. Um, need to relax for a little while. Work is rough. Work is tiring. Long hours. And, you know, there's a lot going on. So I'll try and see if I can get this uploaded maybe tonight or so or tomorrow. So, till next time, hopefully. I thank you guys for watching 
all the videos old and new appreciate all the support you guys always do give checking in on Facebook and you know a lot of that stuff that I created out there put out put out there really appreciate it so you guys stay safe until next time we'll talk soon